<laughs> hey Leo, um, I'm about to do y'all singles read for the next two weeks after whenever you see it, but it is like the end of June. But I pulled the pronghorn for the spirit animal totem. So this is the way that y'all are showing up in love to somebody or just to people in general. Y'all got the pronghorn, which says action. So I feel like this is about Leo wanting some sort of action in love. I don't know if it's from a particular person or you just feel like your love life is dry and you need some action. But um, this is also the energy of a survivor. A very strong, resilient person. I'm sorry, but in the other room, Kevin Hart is on. And I didn't put the shit on and I feel like it's loud. But hopefully y'all can hear me on the top of it because I don't want to start over. But anyway... Um, it says, now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on a pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Okay. Um, I feel like also for some Leos, your intuition is heightened. Like you're able to feel when shit is just not right. Or when people are just not right. Or when a situation is just not right. And I feel like... Before you may not have known what that is. What that was. That kept you... Um, away from situations that could have been... Dangerous. But I feel like now you're realizing that you do have like some sort of intuitive gifts... For whatever Leo this is for. Or you're... Yeah. Okay. So where is Leo in love? What's coming towards them? And what is their advice? He is so annoying. Like, I can't with Kevin Hart. Seriously, I'm more of like a Cat Williams type of girl. Okay, Leah, I have to pause it. So, I'm just gonna... What the fuck? I'm just gonna pull y'all cards and start trying reading. So, whoever this is for, I feel like you're either focused on learning a new skill, a new craft, or you're just focused on your money. Or your business. like you could be wanting to travel and nine more cards for leo please single leos so there's something or somebody you feel like you're just gonna chill on them like i'm just gonna chill on him or her because I don't know you got tired of waiting for them to put in the same effort that you put in it's a whole lot of pinnacles so I feel like whatever Leo I'm talking to is really focused on money okay the nine of pentacles at the bottom. All these pentacles. So you're focused on your self-sufficiency. Which makes sense with this pronghorn. Because this is earth energy. Well it reminds me of earth energy. But anyway with the nine of pentacles at the bottom. I feel like you're very self-sufficient. You feel you feel very confident in yourself. Like you feel like you're a catch. Like you don't feel insecure. Or like you can't get what you want in love. If this is for you. Or in life in general, I feel like you see yourself as somebody who's always going to make a way for yourself and for the people who are important to you. Like if you have a child or children, um, you're someone who's always going to find a way to get what you want or need. But anyway, um, as far as love, as somebody you feel like you're going to chill on or you just feel like you're going to chill on love in general because... You put your effort into a person or people in the past. And the results were not satisfying. 
So you're kind of in the energy of. I'm going to focus on the things that I can control. Like my money. My business. um, My health. My happiness. My healing. My growth. You could be learning more about yourself spiritually. With the star. You could be just trying to become financially stable. In the near future, but anyway, I'm skipping shit. With this Ace of Swords being here over top of the Seven of Swords, I feel like in the past you found out a truth about somebody. It could have been a love interest or somebody you were in a relationship you had an epiphany about them or you just found out the truth through somebody telling you or some type of information that you got. Whether intuitively or like physically, you got some information that made something clear to you. So it's like you feel like this person is your soulmate, but you feel like you're not going to force a situation. I feel like with Seven of Pentacles being here, like I said, you're going to chill on them. You're just patient. I feel like you have this person. You have your eye on a person. But it's not something that you're anxious or pressed to make happen right now. Because there are other things you need to address right now. In the near future... But this Ten of Pentacles being here. I feel like this could be about family with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there are things or a lot of things, responsibilities you might have as it relates to your family your money or some type of business and i feel like that's what you're going to be focused on in the near future you see yourself healing you see yourself as somebody who gets a lot of attention without trying you just show up and people you know can't ignore you with the star being there somebody else sees you as somebody who is rejecting them or rejected them in the past somebody if you have a particular person in mind, that person sees you as somebody who ignores them, rejected them, or does not give them atten the attention that they need. Somebody who pretty much pays them thus, like, um, like looks over them pretty much with the four cups being there. So, I feel like you're hoping to avoid some sort of sneaky person or either you're avoiding love because you don't trust people or you feel like people are not going to be honest regardless. So you're kind of avoiding love if this is for you. I'm going to say different scenarios because I think more than one Leo is going to watch. So it might be different for different people because it's not a personal reading. So you can also... Just have a fear that you have a fear of being manipulated, used, or um, believing like somebody's lies. That's manipulation, right? Um, Or this could be about you wanting to like blend in with a particular group of people. Or you could be hoping for some type of forgiveness if you got caught in a lie or something. You could be hoping that that person forgives you. Um, or doesn't find out the truth about something going to be one of those for the people who it resonates with 
the last card out is the seven of wands so i feel like you're gonna be kind of standoffish um in your own world honestly with the seven of wands being here because i feel like you're more focused on your own self-interest and you have responsibilities as far as family or friends or business or something and if this is about a person who you have in mind who you're going to extend some sort of offer to i feel like that person is going to be standoffish at least by the end of this next two weeks not like forever for the two weeks after you see this if the rest of this resonated with you then that person is going to be standoffish who you plan on coming towards because if you rejected this person in the past they're going to be standoffish with you or if you didn't give them a lot of energy in the past they're going to have their guard up with you or this is you with them or just with love options in general i see you being standoffish and focusing on money and really or the group of Leos who this is for. So what is Leo's advice? Retriever of the truth. Hmm. So I don't know. I don't know if. Because I was just talking about people lying or you wanting to find out the truth or being scared or being manipulated. Okay. So your advice being the coyote retrieval of the truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Which it looks like you're not making time to play. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Great wisdom comes from laughter. No, it says great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly or laughing at your own mistakes. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them, okay? So whatever truth you found out in the past, I feel like it's telling you to learn from it and not let it make you like stiff um, and closed off and standoffish to what might be coming towards you. Um... Yeah, maybe learning to laugh at your own mistakes, like it says. I don't know why I'm trying to find extra shit to say, but I think that's the end. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.